100% home record. That remains the case. Glen Torn, the visitors today. Match commentary comes compliments of Jackie Fullerton. Tipton got a touch now. Brunner figured hit it with the breeze. He does. Keeper stopped it. Nixon tidies up. Sean Ward. Bags with a touch. No, Carson. It's a good ball. Kieran Martin, it's a deflection. It's in. Kieran Martin will claim it because it was on the target, but it took a wicked deflection. 15 minutes gone. The Glens are one up. Tomalty, he's been involved in a lot of things today. That's a lovely ball to Tipton. Straight to the keeper. Michael tried to guide it. No. Tipton, chip off the post. Glenn Torn, a let off. Tipton. Tipton. Tiptoeing away through. Branner. So close. McCafferty. Branner, he's everywhere. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Keith O'Hara. All the way across. It's in. Matthew Tipton has done it. Lovely build up. Great work by O'Hara. And there was Tipton. It's fifth of the season. It's 1 1. It is the last minute at Shamrock Park as that ball comes in. It's in the net. It's off Tipton. He got the final touch. The corner came in. There was a header, a deflection, a ricochet, whatever. Tipton doesn't care. He was there to finish it. They won the game. Did they have tipped up Tipton in tip top form? Now, next up, the Black before today ported down on beating at home Linfield with a 100% record on the road. That record has now gone. Match commentary comes compliments of Jackie Fullerton. No, Patterson against Garland. Patterson, down he goes, nothing given. Ross Redman is up there, the low cross, Brown offense it go, tipped in, air shot. It could have been 1 0. Thompson turns, lovely ball to find Garrett. There's a run from Aaron Burns, down he goes. Free kick. Well, when that ball came through, Aaron Burns was certainly on his way. Then he was sent tumbling. It looked just to be right on the line. Tough call for the official. Braniff, he just... Uh, they seek him here, they seek him there, Kevin Braniff. It's a penalty. Michael Gold has given it away. Well, as that ball came in there... Was Garton pushed? Was he pulled? There's a bit of shirt pulling, but you see that every week. Perhaps a bit harsh. One hour of the game gone. Tipton to make it 1-0. He does. Two against Glen Torn last week. One against Linfield today. The Ports are in front. Linfield chasing this equaliser. Oh, Aaron Burns should have done so much better. No, Tipton. Tipton, has he made it 2-0? Two, no. Two minutes to go. Matthew Tipton. Said it last week, we'll see it again. Tip-top Tipton in tip-top form. Now, Seaview, the early on joint top of the table, thanks to the fine form of Matthew Tipton. Today, the Ports were on the road to Crusaders, and once more, Tipton sent the ball rolling. Match commentary, compliments of Jackie Fullerton. Ramsey to get it forward. Well, one. Oh, it could be in. It is in. It's that man again. It's Matthew Tipton. Crusaders like luster. Lethargic and they're defending. Tipton, quite the opposite with the finish. And it comes. A flick. Oh, it's off the bar. It was Branagh. Very clever header. Well, he looked for Cadell. Cadell got there ahead of the keeper. In by Morrill. 
easy take for the keeper. He doesn't waste any time, Muskelly, and Braniff is out of the blocks. Braniff can hit this, oh, he did, and he finished it. Braniff, sixth goal of the season, and when McKeown couldn't deal with it, well, there was only going to be one outcome. Braniff made sure of that. O'Hara goes for the one-two and get there as well, the skipper finds Braniff. Was there a handball there? We play on, oh, it's 3 0. Second of the day for Kevin Braniff. I have to say, it did look like a handball when that ball was played in, but the referee let it go, and Braniff turned and finished. Now, Ross Redmond. More pressure here on the Crusaders' defence. Michael Zimmer off the line. Boyle launches it in. Oh, it's just off the crossbar by Garton. He should have scored. Port's first win. Ronnie McFall, as I was saying, the marathon manager had a run-in with Glen Torren this afternoon. Matthew Tipton was back from injury. Aidan O'Kean started for the Glen. Your match commentator, Thomas Nibbler. Tomaldi still going, holds it back. McCafferty with the long range shot, the deflection off the post. The danger still not away. Mackle tries to get it in. Breen with the long throw in towards Braniff. Nixon with the header. And the strike from Tipton hits the crossbar. It's a free kick for Porterdine. McCafferty touches it to Braniff. Braniff long range and just over the crossbar. Carson does well, finds Hamilton. Hamilton, lovely touch to Kieran Martin. Kieran Martin tries it. Highland, there's a real opportunity here. Richard Gibson, and it's cleared off the line. Ten minutes to go until half time. Gary Hamilton eyeing this one up. He leaves it. It comes the free kick, and it just goes over the crossbar. Keith O'Hara, he's found Braniff. Braniff, lovely turn. Braniff may come again. Braniff with the left foot. Here come Porter down, Tomothy into the penalty area, can he get the cross in? It slipped under, and amazingly, the ball has gone wide. Hamilton back to Carson, Carson with the cross. And there's the chance, and a good save from the goalkeeper. Highland, can he get the cross in? He still has possession, Highland. Gives it to Sean Ward, Sean Ward with the cross. It's a great delivery into the area, and Tomalty gets that all-important touch. Colin Nixon with the free kick just inside the Gantorin area. He's left it for Clark. Clark with a first-time shot. McCafferty, great control. Cross with the left foot, headed away. Danger still not away. McCafferty, deep into the area. and comes the header! And it's 1-0 to Porter Nine. Jimmy Tumulty, he's injured himself and getting his head to that ball. The player's calling from some assistance, but he has put the visitors 1-0 in front. Shin McCabe, he plays through Tipton. Tipton is onside. Porter Down have numbers here. Kevin Branoff's free in the middle. Branoff to secure all three points. And Kevin Branoff has secured the 2-0 win for Porter Down. Shane McCabe, he played through Matthew Tipton. Tipton had time and space, played the ball towards Kevin Braniff, and Braniff doesn't miss from there. It's Porter down two, then Torin nil. Rubbing the hands with glee, that's how to celebrate. 20 Jimmy Tumblety, nice play from the midfielder. Super block though from David Ogilvie, and it's picked up by Laurie. Boyd, Laurie's continued his run through the middle. Lovely flowing football from Coleraine. But Laurie can't apply the finish. Redmond is towards Gartland. Could fall for Tipton. And Matthew Tipton doesn't miss those kind of chances. 21st goal of the season for Matthew Tipton. It was an offensive error from Coleraine. And Tipton took full advantage. A kick off at Shamrock Park, where second met third, both Portadown and Cliftonville in need of all three points. Matthew Tipton, with his 21st goal of the season, broke the deadlock. Watch closely, it would appear Cliftonville were denied a legitimate goal, then awarded a controversial penalty. Your match commentator, Jackie Fullerton. 
Donnelly. This is good from Cliff Mull. As I say that, oh, Donnelly, he is on his way. This is good, it's very good. A great save, Miss Kelly, from Chris Cannell. Well, eight minutes gone, it looked as though it was going to be 1 0. Great break on the left by Donnelly. Lovely little ball in. Scannell was there, but so too was Miss Kelly. Great goalkeeping. Fortadon are doing their best to give it away here. Here's O'Carroll. Oh, it's a lovely ball to Chris Scannell. It's just over the top. Fortadon carved open again. And the keeper did enough to put Scannell off. The throw from uh, Burns. We have a chance to cross it. Andrew Burns with the cross. It's a very good ball in. It's a good header. It's in. It's Matthew Tipton at the far post. As that ball came in from Young Burns, he was at the far post, hitting it down, and it was in. 1 0. Here comes Richard Clark. He hits it. He hit it very well. And the keeper got a hand to it. It's a good game of football as that ball comes in. It's 2 0. It's tipped it again. The man's on fire. Where was the Cliffmill marking? They were all at sea. Tipton was right on the spot. No mistake. 2 0. Long ball. Cliffmill could be caught again here. Lackey is in the middle, so too is tipped and tipped it. Neither of them can get there. Five minutes to half time. Cliff will need something to happen. And quickly. Johnson. Oh, I thought it was in. So did he. Too high for Scannell. Indeed, if we take another look at that, Cliff will may feel hard done by. That could well have been over the line. Injury time in the first half. The ideal time to score it would be for Clifton. Oh, oh it's just gone wide. It may have been German O'Carroll who went in there, but whatever, it's wide of the mark. It's still 2 0. That's a great goal. That is a great finish. What a way to get back into this game. Jim O'Carroll, his fourth goal for Cliftonville. And what a finish it was. They're back, it's 2 1. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. Catney brought down. McCaffrey was the villain of the piece. Two yellows, one red, and he's on his way. He scored two penalties this season, Martin Donnelly. Make that three. It's 2-2. Two -two. Richard Clark, the big man, are up from the back. It falls there. Oh, it's 3-2. It is Tipton. Second hat-trick of the season for the main man. His 23rd goal of the season. And how important could that be? 16 minutes left. Cliftonville back to 2-2. Two -two. Tipped it on the spot once again, and when you need the finish, he provides it. Conley. Cliff will, will we have drama right at the end? Chris Gunnell. Catney lines up the shot, does he? He tries to chip the keeper, he has! What a finish, right at the death. Catney, he's done it before this season with late goals. He scored last November, that was his last goal, and he's popped up here with two minutes left to make it 3-3. Brown is in there, the keeper is out. Did he handle the ball? He could have done, and the keeper could be off. What a game of football this has been, he is off. Conley is on his way. He was outside the box, no arguments. The cat